You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Wednesday, the 6th of May, 2015. Here is IYY, the Total Market Index Fund. That is an exchange-traded fund. It tracks the whole market. This blue line that you see right here is our two-day trend line. Not a very good one. It only connects two candles. We like to connect three. Those red candles, of course, mean down days. This is a two-day chart. So we are seeing six days between these three candles. This is the way the week ended up last week, and here's where the week started. This week, you can see that we had a day that was down today. According to the charts, it was down 1.17%. You can see it went a lot lower. That's what this little wick on the bottom means. It was pushed back up until it ended down, and it went a fair bit higher. It was pushed back down. Now, what we need to look at is what's going on here on the MACD. We saw the MACD crossover going down on this day, as we talked about. Um, over the last few days, the last six days, you can see where it crossed over the derivative oscillator, Finally got enough momentum with these down moves today to cross over, but the MACD is the one we really look at. That was back between the 28th and 30th that we had the crossover going down. So it has been in a down move since then. That is the total market. Let's look at the four-hour chart. We're going to reduce down here. Take a look at that. You can see that the four-hour chart has been on a down move since around the same time period, late in the afternoon, I guess, on the 27th. Been moving down since then. We had an up move and then another down move. Again, it's below the two-day trend line, which is a good sign. And we have derivative oscillator. that's also moved on, over on us. No surprise there in the total market. Let's range back out to the two-day chart, and let's go to the standard and poor 500 SPY. What do we see here? We again have a two-day trend line drawn right there. We have a down move. We have, again, this is what we see this time of year. Once we get out of April into May, sell in May go away. The market typically starts losing volume and gets more and more choppy. We see a crossover going down back here around the same time as IYY. Tried to cross back over going up, did not make it, so has been in a down move since then. Derivative oscillator crossed over today. Again, we almost have a spinning top here. We do. We have a long down wick, means the market got pushed way down and the bulls pushed it, bears pushed it back up. Sorry, bears pulled it down, bulls pushed it up. The opposite here on the top. The bulls pulled it up, the bears pulled it down, ended down for this two-day period. Crossover going down now had been an up move. It's now crossed over going down. And let's range out to the four-hour chart and see what we see. It had been in a down move since between the 28th and 29th. Tried to cross over going up, but then again crossed back over going down. Has broken through where we've set up a two-day trend line that it's below. So that helps tell us that the market is below that now. It has crossed over. The market is officially in a down move for SPY. SPY for the day was down 1.15%. Now let's range back out to our two-day chart. And we're going to go to the Q's, my favorite index. This is the NASDAQ 100. It crossed over also today going down. The derivative oscillator is not quite followed, but it's getting very close. We like them to cross at the same time. We have a down trend line. Remember, when we draw trend lines, we have some great training on that. Go to the website, chartingwealth.com. You can also find those same trainings at uh, on our YouTube channel and at Facebook and Twitter. We've got a great video on that. tells you how to draw trend lines. shows you you want to try to connect three candles to make it really strong. We've not done that yet, but we do have a downtrend that we have drawn. Now, let's go to the four-hour chart and see what we see. What do we see? Well, the four-hour chart crossed over going down back on the 29th. We now have a two-day trend line that it's broken through going down, and we are in a down move overall. You might say, well, wait a minute. Why wouldn't I simply use the four-hour chart? Well, you can try to do that. You have some problems when you get short moves on, like we see back here 
between the 16th and the 21st of April. We like to have a larger chart give us the trend line, and then we use the action chart, which is the shorter chart, in order to help plot those moves. Okay, now we're going to move back to the two-day chart, and we're going to go to, lastly, gold. What do we see with gold? Well, we've talked about gold over the last uh, few, many, many days. This is the two-day chart, so each one of these is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we're what three weeks going on here, all the way back to uh, we we can start it. We started seeing the market with a lot of indecision back on the eighth of April. It has continued to gradually move down. Today was actually an up day for gold, 0.28 percent. But you can tell overall, gold is still uh, in an uptrend technically with the. Uh, with the MACD, the derivative oscillator has rotated over. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Look at what gold is showing on the four-hour chart. Actually, crossing over, going up. So the four-hour chart has not crossed over yet. We've not seen it break through the two-day trend line, but it's trying to do so. And again, the two-day chart remains in an uptrend, and the four-hour chart is trying to mimic that when it breaks through this two-day trend line, that might give you something to consider as a trigger for looking at gold moving up. Although, I will tell you, gold looks very long in the tooth. Very, very long in the tooth. It is still not gotten up nearly as high as it was way back on the 6th of April at 116.90. It's now 114.70. In fact, the top move that day way back on the 6th of April, was 117.47. So I, I would be hard put to get excited about gold going up, but that is where gold is. So we hope that you have started the week off well. Continue to watch the markets. Continue to follow the charts. Follow the charts with us every day. Great training at the website. Just had a new posting today on some new training. So please go to chartingwealth.com. We love to hear from you. We love feedback at Facebook and Twitter. And of course, on the website, we love your emails. Please be sure to sign up for our daily email so that you get these updates. Plus, you get the charting layout that we use at freestockcharts.com. The operative word there is free. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate you. We love to hear from you.